what grade do you give the Cowboys this summer? A plus, plus, plus. Oh, man. man. That's like passing twice, huh? <laughs> Sheesh. I'm channeling, my inner, I'm, I'm channeling my inner Dave Hellman right now. Ooh. No, no, it's, come on, it's the Cowboys. I'm grading on a curve. When was the last time the Cowboys... Without the curve, it's still an A, though. Well, uh, fair a, enough. A, a plus. Well, He's an A plus. Yeah. plus, plus, plus. Yeah. All right, let's be, let's be real. Free agency, when we say who wins and loses, how many times does it really impact what ultimately happens the following season? Not always, so we can go through this exercise. But based on what the Cowboys have traditionally done and what we think of them, this has been great. I, you, first of all, you guys, lo I know you love getting Gilmore and what that does for them and their secondary and their defense overall. That, that is, they're going to be beasts. But they also did some of the little stuff. They got Van Der Esch back on a, mm -hmm. on a really good contract. Um, they got Donovan Wilson, their safety, back. Solid, like, yeah, they, he's solid. They retained a lot of their talent from last year, and they just didn't retain it, but they retained it on really good con uh, contracts. Cooper Rush they bring back. I mean, you got a little bit of a, a fan favorite there. So when I add all of it together, do I think it's going to result in some quantum leap by the Cowboys? I'm not going to go that far. You gave me A++++. Plus, plus, plus. Yes, right. because in free agency, if we're just measuring on what they've done in the offseason, when, when was the last time that we talked about the Cowboys in glowing terms, in, in no, just in good terms, about free agency? Oh, yeah, so. See uh, that? Exactly. You, start you, just start, lights, you, you just start talking about hey. the Cowboys, hey. right? The Cowboys <laughs> in the studio. All right, now. The lights start to go Relax shaky those. on you. TJ, what, are you, what grade are you giving them? I'm giving them a B. And you, you, you spoke of they brought back Donovan Wilson and Van Der Esch and they signed uh, Gilly. Mm -hmm. The Cowboys are really good on defense last year. Mm -hmm. They'll be better on defense this year. Mm. What happened when they needed that offense to step up? Oh, here we go. They didn't get better on offense oh, wait. this year. Brandon Crooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't even mention But him. did they get better? Like, I'm not so sure of that. Brandon Cooks is a good receiver. But Sean Payton, Bill Belichick, Sean McVay always like, I like you, but I don't like you that much. Mm. And, and so he's a good receiver. If I'm going to release Zeke and then bring in Brandon Cooks, I want Amari Cooper. If I'm Dak Prescott, look how Dak plays with Amari Cooper. He plays very well. And, and so they got better on the defensive side of the ball, but they were already good on defense. Mm. They needed to improve on offense, and I don't know if they have. Mm. Shady? I agree with you, but in a different approach. Offense-wise, I mean, did they, did they get Aaron Rodgers? Are they a new quarterback? <laughs> we can't get, uh, I mean, uh, I, mean I just want to be clear here. Like, uh, if you want to prove offense, I mean, I you love don't even, You didn't even give his name. But, you didn't but, even say his no, name. No, but I'm saying, so first of all, they're not an A++++. Plus plus plus. That's scratch. What? I'm going to give him a B, all right? right I, 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 love, I love the move. First of all, Stephon Gilmore is lights out. He's, he's won games last year with the Colts by himself. He had to close out games, he got picks, sealed the game away. I look at the Cowboys where you got uh, um, Diggs on the other side holding it down. Now you got Gilly on the other side. They already get a, 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 a tremendous amount of pass rush, mm -hmm. right, with Parsons, the Marcus Lawrence up there getting to the quarterback. So now you add in, add in the cornerback. Cool. Look at the offense. Like, you talked about bringing Amari Cooper back. I, I hear you, but mm -hmm. CeeDee Lamb's the one. I had questions about CeeDee Lamb at the beginning of the year. He proved me that he's a number one receiver. All right? Then you tag... Um, Tony Pollard, you give her to Zeke, I get it. You get your another power back, you know, get short yardage, you can, you can get that somewhere else. You, you got Pollard in there, big time player. So when I look at this team, the only thing they're missing to be an A++ is the position that loses the game when the, the game's on the line, right? Because everybody we talked about, who's that guy? Y'all know who it is. <laughs> Y'all know who it is. Dak Prescott. Real quick, and I, I, won't, I won't kill Dak on this because it's still early. <laughs> it's still early. But if you look at the games they lose, it's not Zeke's fault. It's not Pollard's fault. It's not Brandon Cook's fault. It's not going to be his fault. It's not CeeDee Lamb's fault. It's Dak's fault. Yeah, it's really Every time they lose games, <laughs> it's his fault. It's not the defense. <laughs> they played the Niners, right? And you, you, you got to get open. You got to create separation. When you, oh, oh, when you watch them picks, because you, I, see, I like guys like him because he's a wide receiver and he's outspoken. When you, when you watch that game, right, and you see them picks, that ain't the wide receivers will, not getting. I will say, this past season, it was a little different. Well, that's what we're talking Dak. about. It was a little different with so Dak and interceptions. Was it? It, it was, majority of them were Dax. Okay. Now, the year. Now, I can, the, move, now I can move on. But. <laughs> now I can move on. That, he proved my point. He didn't have Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper creates a ton of separation. 
He, cre he creates separation. Dak is a different, a wildly different statistical player with Amari Cooper and right. without him. Now, wow. that, that's, that, that's not Amari Cooper. That's on the Cowboys for not keeping Amari Cooper. Oh, but I'm with, I'm with you, Shady. I mean, you know. He on a whole other team. Had, what are we talking about? I had to convert to that. That's I'm when give, you have somebody, you let them go, and you can't get them back. I'm giving that's... them a B, too. So we're not, we're not really all disagreeing that much. Bs? They got a good team, though. They got a good team. They always had a good team. And they, and they add on to on defense, or offense. They had pieces. a Super Bowl contending team last year. I agree. Except for the position that matters most, which okay. is not how it's I what, felt. Is what? The quarterback. So I, that's not how I felt going into the season, though. I felt like Dak Prescott was a guy who was capable of winning a Super Bowl. I no longer feel that way. I feel like he is in the category of a, a, a Kirk Cousins, yeah. someone who's going to keep you competitive, who can win games, who we've seen be able to be a star a while level. you didn't let you down but it, when it comes down to the biggest moments he doesn't get it done and and quite frankly if you look at who's won the super bowl the past five years it's been a guy that's that guy all right mm. so so i'm grading on a curve and you guys are grading on a freaking slide no no no. we didn't no, no, give no. it a buck rick right you're saying right that's all so the only way they could have gotten an a in your minds is if they had traded Dak Prescott or they had gotten a different quarterback. That's well, it, that's it, what I'm hearing. You know, I don't. There, there was no it had to be an upgrade. I mean, an upgrade. It was that the they were going to move on from Dak Prescott. But the, exactly. but the upgrade on that team, seriously though, like that team is really really good. So like, what type of upgrades will make them an A plus plus? Only but the the, the, the position that loses them. I'm not the saying that they're an A plus plus team. I'm saying as far as free agency is concerned, it was an A++ free agency period for the Cowboys. Don't, don't confuse the two. You guys are, t man, I'm glad I did well, not have you, you know, as I'm also keeping and teachers. In, I'm also That's keeping, impossible. Keep, you might have got a D. Possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Clearly. Professor you can't, you can't McCoy, be a minute late. Right. No kidding. I got these glasses on. No curve Dr. right here. Huh? Reason. I'm also, I, maybe I am uh, grading on a, a, Damn well. a, 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 a yes, you slide are. because I don't know what the offense is going to look like. Mike McCarthy is calling the plays now. So this is going to be a different offense this year. Mm. Zeke is not there. While Zeke is, wasn't the same player he was, he is a, you know, he's a presence in the locker room. He was yeah. somebody that's, that, that Dak had a close relationship with. I think they can replace Zeke as far as production goes in the draft. They, I think they should I draft I a, a running back high. But Brandon Cooks is, uh, you know, the name that is getting everyone excited yeah. outside of Gilmore. So, TJ, how much do you think he's going to contribute to this offense? Oh, he'll contribute because he can get down the field. Brandon Cooks can run. Like, but he's fast. Now, are they going to play that brand of football to where – Dak just lets the ball go. Brandon Cooks is not a tall receiver. He's about 5'10". And, and so, at the tallest, maybe 5'9". Does Dak feel comfortable? When you have shorter receivers, you have less room for error. You can't lead a ball high. That ball may be picked. And so, his entire career, he's played with bigger receivers. Sure. C.D. Lamb is 6'2". Uh, Amari Cooper is 6'1", 6'2". Dez. Noah, those dudes, Dez Bryant... Those are bigger receivers, and so you got a smaller receiver. He may look covered. Are you going to let that ball go just knowing, okay, he will go get to that? Is Mike McCarthy going to call those plays where it's like he may look covered, just let that go? You don't know. But it's a reason. Brandon Cooks can play. But it's a reason all these really good coaches have said, ah, this is it. This is how I'm going to grade the Brandon Cooks, and I may have to revise my grade because mm. I want to see if DeAndre Hopkins gets moved and if he gets moved for what. Because if you're telling me that I could have gotten the hop instead of D hop instead of, of Cooks, then that'll change the way I look at the acquisition of Brandon Cooks. Man, hop, that salary, I don't know if they yeah. want to take that off. And those are two number one dominant players, Hammond and CD. I don't know if they were jailed together. Well, yeah. Cooks, I think you can make him a number two. Well, I think what we learned is we all would like Professor Rick because the rest of us yeah. grade a little. Uh, grade a little yeah, how you, how you grade with, with people not coming to classes? We on the dean's yeah, list in your class. Right? We <laughs> on the dean's <laughs> list in your <laughs> class. Hey, hey, you work some done. music. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.